Hello everyone, welcome to Switch Up. We've got another review for you today, this time of Super Monkey Ball Banana Mania. Now every time I've gone to say that title, I've almost said Banana Rama. I am getting old. Anyway, this review was written for us by a good friend of the channel, Dave Morish. Dave has his own channel, Save Dex Gaming. Please do go and check it out. I'll put a link in the top in comment. Super Monkey Ball Banana Mania is an arcadey party game which compiles and remakes content from the first few games in the series, a series that began 20 years ago. The franchise has been a bit overlooked by Sega lately, with long gaps between releases, and it could be argued a dip in quality in later titles, but this title could be a resurgence to the series, bringing the original classics to a new generation. Is this a game you should go bananas for, or is it a complete balls up? Well thank you to Sega for the review code, and now let's find out. The general premise of Monkey Ball, as the name would imply, is that you have monkeys in balls and you need to get them from point A to point B within a time limit. You are presented with an assortment of obstacle courses and you need to navigate your way to the goal. This is done by simply using the analog stick. You are not using the stick to move your character though, instead you are tilting the level and letting gravity do its job. You can adjust the camera with the right analog stick, but it's not essential and I found the default view did a good job. It's a simple to understand mechanic, but it's definitely not a simple game to complete. As was the case back in the day, these levels can get quite fiendish, and in playing them again in this game, a few demons from my past resurfaced, although I was determined to conquer them. Plenty of ideas and hazards are thrown your way, and although it might start simple enough, as you go from level to level, you find moving platforms, narrow bridges, bumpers, switches that need pressing, and pull tools to name a few. That's not to say the game isn't accessible, like I said it has very simple controls and it's easy to understand what you are doing. Some quality of life features that may have been present in more recent entries but certainly weren't in the original include a helper function that you can turn on at any time. This will double the time limit, add arrows to suggest which movements to make and also allow you to hold R to slow things down. If you complete a level with this mode though, the menu labels it as such, which is almost like a mark of shame. There is a jump feature which I believe was introduced in Banana Blitz on the Wii. This feature is completely optional and needs to be unlocked. Now considering these stages were not originally designed with a jump feature in mind, I found it almost broke some stages but provided practically no advantage in others. The main thing that takes the edge off the challenge though compared to the originals is that you now have unlimited lives. When taking on challenge mode you are presented with a set number of stages with progressive difficulty and it times you in how quickly you can complete them as well as other stats such as how many times you died. In the original you had three lives, lose them all and you had to start from the first level again. This time around of course with unlimited lives you can attempt them till your heart's content. Due to having limited lives in the original, the bananas scattered about the courses gave you an extra life for collecting 100. Now they serve a different purpose. Firstly, the game tells you how many bananas are on a stage, so you can try and get a perfect score on each one, although I'm not sure that's entirely possible on some stages. Also though, each banana you collect adds one coin to your in-game currency. These coins can be collected through beating levels, collecting bananas, or earning certain achievements, and are then used to purchase things from the shop, including new characters, game modes, and cosmetics. So that's what the main game entails, but there is also a party mode. This is the game's multiplayer offering. I won't name every game here, but I can tell you it's a good selection, and we've had a lot of fun with them. From Monkey Race providing a Mario Kart style experience, to sports related ones such as basketball, bowling, tennis and football, which are more simplified versions of the games they are based on, but are charming in their own way. Two returning favourites for me are Monkey Fight, where you have a boxing glove and need to knock your opponent off the stage, either with the A button, or there is an option for dual analog controls, and Monkey Target, where you need to launch off a ramp and glide your way to land on targets to score points. It seems a little harder to stay airborne in this one compared to the original, but I suppose that's 20 years of physics improvements for you in video games. There are also extra ways to experience the party games, changing the rules or parameters to each event, and this adds longevity and interest. They provide a fun and manic experience for local multiplayer, but sadly these are local multiplayer only. The online component for this game comes down to rankings. You can choose a group of stages from the single player and upload your best times and race against other people's ghosts. It does seem like a bit of a missed opportunity that the party games don't allow for true online multiplayer. Overall the game is classic Monkey Boy at its best. There are plenty of levels to take on, and the difficulty ramps up to a nasty degree which will satisfy the hardcore fans, but the accessibility options will aid newcomers too. You'll die in this game and hear the narrator say Fallout so many times, you'll be convinced that Bethesda have sponsored it, but it makes it all the more satisfying when you finally beat that level. Gameplay scores 18 out of 20. 
Controls are very simple to understand, but also provide the precise movements and adjustments needed in some stages. The gyro options were probably the weakest aspect, seeming overly sensitive, but on the whole, they also score 18 out of 20. Super Monkey Ball Banana Mania looks incredible, receiving an upgrade in terms of some spit and polish, but this has happened without losing the nostalgia you get from seeing a Monkey Ball game. It makes good use of vibrant colours, and although a lot of stages have a similar checked pattern on the floor, the stage layouts do stand out, and there's a variety of worlds with different backgrounds that set a different tone, even if they don't influence the gameplay. The characters all have fun animations and allow their personalities to shine through when it comes to celebrations or commiserations, and extra charm is added via the customization options you get from items purchased in the shop. It was announced a while ago that Sonic and Tails are unlockable in this game, and although it's great to see them, it's a shame they aren't voice acted like the monkeys are. The game runs at 60 frames per second, and I never had an issue with how it performed, the camera was always positioned well, and it was easy to see what was going on. The story mode has some strange still image cutscenes with the monkeys watching TV, I honestly couldn't tell what was going on here, but it certainly sticks to the same zany style. The music is generally fun and upbeat, and maybe it's nostalgia talking, but I found the new music, although very enjoyable, didn't hit the same mark as the original games, which is disappointing in that the original soundtrack appears to be coming separately as paid DLC. What is here for the music, however, is still very good, and has a disco feel to it being reminiscent of early 2000s dance music. If I was new to the series, then I'd have had little to complain about, to be fair. Visuals are fun, vibrant and very appealing, and they score 17 out of 20. Audio doesn't quite hit the heights of the original, but certainly does the job nonetheless, and also scores 17 out of 20. Super Monkey Ball Banana Mania sells on the eShop for £34.99, and regional equivalents are on your screen now. There is also the Digital Deluxe Edition, available for £44.99, which includes a bunch of DLC packs for a slightly lower price than buying them separately would have cost you, and this includes that classic soundtrack I mentioned earlier. I can't help but feel that some of these cosmetic features included in that deluxe version should have just been in the base game. The other issue is the fact that this is essentially a remake, compiling content from Super Monkey Ball 1, 2 and Deluxe, and people that have played those to death won't see anything new here, but for everyone else, there are 300 stages, 12 party games, an achievement system, and plenty of other bits to unlock. The high score and fastest time aspect can keep you coming back for more, especially with the online rankings, and local multiplayer is a lot of fun. It can be found physically for a bit less than its eShop price, so I'd suggest shopping around, and the lack of online plus that decision with the DLC will affect the score a tad, and overall value scores 15 out of 20. To conclude, Super Monkey Ball Banana Mania is a return to form for a series that had lost its way to some degree. They have decided to really return to the franchise's roots by compiling the content from the original games and shown that it still works in this day and age. The party games make for a great time in local multiplayer, the stages are as fun and frustrating as ever, and there is a lot of charm to it. It has a few shortcomings, as I mentioned, such as the lack of online and the DLC model, but the base game has a lot to offer, and I'm really happy with how this turned out. Hopefully this series can now roll to new heights. Super Monkey Ball Banana Mania gets a switch up score of 85%. A big thank you to Dave Morris for writing this one for us. As I said, link to his channel is in the top pinned comment. Please do go and check it out. Thank you to our Patreons, as always, for your continued support. And to each and every one of you for watching our videos. Take care, and until next time, happy gaming.